okay um you're all welcome to this new series that i'm going to do on youtube um on igcse geography for the 20 um 23 to um 2024 uh, syllabus so we're going to have a um, series of buy side videos in every um, section so we have different lessons but uh, just follow through so every day i'll be posting two videos on this um, syllabus content now so the first topic we, we, we are going to be looking at is population dynamics so uh, first there are certain keywords that are very important in the course of studying this topic and one of those keywords are population itself so population is the total number of people living in a particular area at a particular period uh, of time why natural increase has to do with the birth rate um, minus the death rate and you find out that the difference between birth and death uh, of a particular area is natural natural increase the reason is because everybody must um, experience these two uh, major con uh, concepts in life um, why birth rate is the number of people born each year per 1000 people and death rate is the number of people who die each year per 1000 people and fertility rate is the average number of children a woman is expected to bear in her reproductive age why population growth rate is the rate at which the population increases in a given time period why net migration is the difference between immigrant and emigrant uh, in a particular country now quickly let's look at what population growth um, this is more like an activity though but let me just explain it now this graph represents world population growth from 191750 down to 2100 so you find that that general trend is that the overall uh, between 1750 and 2100 which is estimated you find out that the population of the world has what and will continue to increase and grow so the population of the world has been increasing constantly from uh, 1750 now you find out that in 1750 uh, the global population is around 780 uh, million people it's not up to 1 billion and today the world population is approximately which is around 2023 we are looking at around 7.7 .7 billion people um, to 8 billion people on earth presently now um, by 2100 it is estimated that the world population would be around 11 billion people now i have a sample question here and in this question we'll try to look at um, an igcse question where they say we should compare the population growth in africa and europe so if you look at your key ones given this question first you'd find out that you identify which is africa and which is europe so this straight line represents africa why this line here uh, represents europe so what you should note now is in 1800 you find out that uh, europe population is higher than africa um, but in 2100 africa population is higher than europe that will give you two marks out of these three already then for you to get one more mark they say you should use statistics in your answer so when you use statistics is when you state a value uh, to support your, your your description or your claim now in that case you find out that in 1800 uh, african population is around this is five so it's around um, 0 0.3 billion people why euro population is around um, 0. Point, sorry africa is around 0. Point, this is 0. 0.1 so it's around 0. 0.15 uh, billion people why euro population is around 0 0.3 billion people once you bring that in you get your mark then here you can also find the year here and state that the population between europe and africa is the same at this point now what are the reasons for increase in world population so there are reasons for this now when you look at the growth of world population there are two major factors that affect it and those factors are natural change or natural increase and this has to do with the birth rate uh, minus the death rate it affect the world population growth or population growth of a particular region uh, around the world another thing that affected it is the net migration 
which affect population growth within a particular area. So if you want to calculate population growth now, which we'll do in our next class, it will be birth rate minus death rate uh, plus or minus net migration. And net migration is the difference between immigration uh, and emigration. So now you should note that, note this is any factor that affect the birth rate, death rate, and migration affect the population growth rate of any region. Okay, so let's quickly move to look at what are the reasons for high birth rate in early disease, which are less economically developed countries. You find that the things like lack of contraceptives, example condoms, early marriages, this will lead to increase in fertility and cultural beliefs like the preference for male child, high infant mortality. So if some babies may die, couples will be tempted to have more children. Uh, another reason is religious belief. Uh, example, belief against the use of contraceptives and belief against abortion. Uh, agriculturally based society. So in agriculturally based society, people tend to give birth to more kids that will help them in the farm and also collect water then uh, no care homes or pension for the elderly so you find out that the old dependent people within the community we need to have a lot of kids that we take good care of them at their old age then we have pronatalist policy which are policies um, by the government to help increase uh, the number of children being born within a region also we have things like lack of education on about family planning and illegal abortion has also led to an increase in birth rate. Now, but there are certain reasons also, like most MEDCs and developed economy have a low birth rate. So some of those reasons is because there is availability and affordability of contraceptives, there's cheap or free condoms, uh, emancipation of freedom of women, so uh, freedom to get an education and to work, uh, also, so that they don't have to stay at home and give birth to a lot of kids. Improved level of education, especially for females, so they are more knowledgeable about family planning. And also, we have things like reduced infant mortality, which is usually due to um, vaccination, improvement in vaccination, uh, and also good medical services. Now, introduction of pension and care homes. So. The old dependents don't need to get worried about who will take good care of them at a very uh, old and advanced age. Now, development of economy into secondary and tertiary sectors, so they no longer depend on agriculturally based society. So they don't they don't need people that will help them in the farm or fetch water. So as a result, they give uh, less give birth to less kids. Now, delayed marriages or and once you have delayed marriages, you have low um, fertility rate thereby having less children. Now, antinatalist policy, like the China one-child policy, is a policy against giving birth to lots of kids. Then, legalized abortion and high cost of raising children has also led to um, parents giving birth to low number of um, kids. Now, also, lastly, uh, for this session, we're going to look at the reasons for high death rate and also the reasons for low death rate. Now, some of the reasons for high death rate here, as I've spelled out, is uh, natural disasters such as tsunami, earthquake, volcanoes, and flooding. Now, in IGCSE, anytime you mention natural disasters as an option, always remember to give examples. Another reason for high death rate, why, much, why areas why people die a lot also is because of conflict and war. Now, areas with poor hygiene, poor sanitation, uh, this will lead to easy spread of diseases, which will lead to high death rate. Poor medical care, such as uh, lack of drugs, doctors, inadequate hospitals, can also lead to that. Poor diet, uh, which might be shortage of food or unhealthy food, can lead to high death rate. Poor lifestyle, such as drinking alcohol, smoking, or taking drugs, can also lead to high death rate. Now, lack of exercise, uh, when you have only sedentary lifestyle, you can... You can, you can lead to high death rate also. And things like shortage of clean water can easily lead to the spread of diseases such as cholera. Then you have diseases such as cancer and HIV and AIDS uh, will also lead to high death rate. Now, but there are also reasons for low death rate in certain regions because certain regions around the world, majorly the MEDCs have low death rate. 
Now, the reason is because of immunization um, programs, uh, immunization against smallpox, uh, we have availability of clean water, safe drinking water, improved diet and knowledge of diet. Uh, example, when you eat five portions of fruit in, in your diet, it's also all these are very important to increase your life expectancy. Then we have improved level of exercise, improved medical care, availability of care homes and pension homes for the elderly. So it helped them to live to a very rightful old age. Then good hygiene and sanitation, improved preventive testing. Example is uh, for things like cancer, uh, so people can be treated before it kills them. Now, these are uh, reasons for high and low death rate. Now, these are an IGCS equation in line with that. Now, the first question here is uh, define natural population growth. And natural population growth is the difference between birth rate uh, and death rate. That's all, one mark. Now, they say calculate the natural population growth of France and show your calculations. Now, natural population growth is birth rate minus death rate. So you come, you check France, your birth rate is given, your death rate is given. So you just substitute and you get your answer. Now, this is suggest reasons why the population is declining in countries such as Hungary. Now, if population is declining in Hungary and Hungary is an MEDC, so the reason why the population will decrease is because they will have what? A low birth rate. Low birth rate is the major reason why there will be uh, a decrease in population in Hungary. Now, because they have a low birth rate, now what other points you need to bring in here is what are the reasons for low birth rate in Hungary? Now, some of the reasons is that um, educated education, they are educated about family planning, uh, you find that there are things like um, emancipation of women. The women have freedom to work. Um, another reason can be availability of contraceptives, preventive measures. They have uh, good, um, high, they have low infant mortality, so they don't ha really have the need to give birth to a lot of kids. Now, give three reasons why death rate vary from country to country, vary from country con to country. This, what they are just asking you here is what are the reasons for either high or low death rate. So you can refer back to what we've done here. These are the answers to the question. So thank you very much for this first section and please stay tuned for part two.